thank you for joining us in this class we want to solve this problem finding the values of x in x minus 9 all raised to the power 4 equals to x raised to the power 4 ensure you follow us to the end in this class so as to learn one or two things along the way now from here let's take x raised to the power 4 to this side and we have x raised to the power x minus 9 all raised to the power 4 then minus x raised to the power 4 will then be equals to 0 so we take this to this side we call minus and from here we can form something of difference of 2 square out of here when we write this again and we have x minus 9 squared then all squared again so same like we split this for now as 2 times 2 law of indices then minus same thing here x raised to power 2 then raised to power 2 we split this for that's 2 times 2 which is equal to 0 now application of difference of 2 square comes in from here then when we have a square when we have a square minus b square so this gives us a plus b multiplied by a minus b so we apply difference of two square in here. So our a for this particular one is standing as x minus nine square. So a is standing as x minus nine square. So we cannot say that a plus b and b is standing as x square. So we now have a which is x minus nine all squared then plus b which is x squared so what is inside the bracket is what is standing as our a and our b then multiply by a minus b that's x minus 9 squared then minus x squared so which is equals to zero now from here we have applied the difference of two squares so when we look at this now, we can expand what is inside the bracket. Now for this first one here now, x minus 9 squared, we can expand it and say we have x squared. We have x squared minus 2 times x is minus, no, that's minus 18x, then plus 9 squared, that's 81. So we have expanded this, that's plus x squared here now. This bracket has been, you know, simplified. Then also on this side, when we expand, we also have x squared minus 18x plus 81. Then minus x squared, which is equal to 0. Then also we can reduce this further. When we have x squared you know plus x squared this will give us 2x squared then we have minus 18x plus 81 then this we multiply the other bracket x squared minus x squared we cancel each other so we have minus 18x plus 81 equals to zero then from there we have two cases here. Let's take this as case one. We have case one as we have case one as minus eighteen x plus eighty one is equal to zero, and we have case two as we have case two as two s square. We have case 2 as 2x squared minus 18x plus 81 equals to 0. Now, from this other side, we can solve for x. We can send this minus 18x to that side, and we have same thing as 18x equals to 81. So the negative will have you know, been cancelled and then we divide both sides by 18. We have x equals to 81 divided by 18. Something can divide both. So we can say x will now be equal to when we divide both sides by 9. So we have divide both number by 9. We have 9 up. 
and uh, we have 2. That's 9 over 2. So this is the value of x here. Now let's keep this and uh, check the second case. From this second case, we have a quadratic equation. And uh, in this, we have our a as 2 and the b as minus 18 and c as 81. So when we apply the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So now this will become x equals to minus minus 18 plus or minus square root of minus 18 squared minus 4 a is 2 then c is 81 then over 2 a two times 2 and then we can simplify this and we have x equals to minus times minus become plus that's 18 plus or minus square root of 18 that's minus 18 square we give us 324 so it will become plus then when we multiply we still have minus that's 4 times 2 times 81 that will give us 648 then all over 4 so from here when we look at this we can you know Continue and say this is x equals to 18 plus or minus square root of 324 minus 648. That will give us minus 324 then over 4. Then we have minus. You know, square root of minus 1 is a complex you know, number which is same thing as r. Then we can write this as x equals to 18 plus or minus square root of 324 and square root of 324 is 18 so we have 18 and square root of r minus 1 is r so same thing as 18i then over 4 so that we can divide from here 2 is common 2 can divide each of these numbers and uh, we can also write it as 9 plus or minus 9 plus or minus 9i over 2. So we have that as you know the value of x here. Then we can separate this one and say we have two solutions here as well, which are complex, you know, solution. We have complex solution from here. So the first value of x that we got x1 is you know 9 over 2 so we got 9 over 2 as the first you know value of x and the second value let's take the second value now as x2 which will be 9 plus 9i over 2 and uh, we can take the third one as a negative of that's x3 equals to 9 minus 9i over 2 and here we have three solutions of which two are complex. And thereby we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.